Hi all, so in today's video we're going to be doing a little instructional video on how to use a pneumatic George. So here's my George. Uh, the light's quite funny in here so it makes it look really faded, but it's not. So, um, yeah, I've not got a face on this one. I don't know where I've put it. I took it off when I got it because at the factory they put it on wrong and it snapped part of the face off. So I've not actually, can't remember where I put it. So I need to phone pneumatic and get another one off them. But for the time being, it's alright. I prefer it without a face anyway. But yeah, so it's very new it's a 2019 model i bought this and then had it sat in a box for ages so i never even bothered unboxing it but yeah so i've got the hand tool on the back but yeah and there's all your kit there so we'll do well first things first you want to do is you want to open it up so undo the two clips on the side and lift the top off there's the solution tube that dangles down but you don't need to worry about that then pick this bit out and this is your ball float bit and then this is your clean water tank and that is your recovery or dirty water tank there so you want to go to the sink and fill this up with lukewarm water no about 30 40 degree water just so it's not cold but not hot at the same time just warm and then fill it up with whatever solution you want you can either use the uh, provided one that they come with if you've used it all up or you can use rug doctor or anything really or even just use plain water and spray your soap on the carpet first so i'll go fill this up i'll pause the recording quickly fill this up and come back quickly right so i have put my solution in and filled it with water i've used some rug doctor stuff it's about 10 years old but it still works fine so i filled it up with lukewarm water from the tap you twist it like that just to mix it that's it you will need to be mixed and you can feel like i can hold my hand on the side of that tank fine so then after you've got that in, you want to put your ball float in. And then this hole in it will line up with that part there. So it can sit fine. Then you want to get the, this part, the lid of it, and that solution tube there that needs to go into the um, clean water tank. And then clip the lid on. Um, there's a little catch at the back that you're putting it from back to front. So you just need to make sure it is in that section properly. And clip the lid sides on. So, to check it's all clipped on properly, you want to pick it up like that. And if you can pick it up without the vase falling off, it's on properly. So, now we'll go on to getting this solution tube out. So, you want the end with this connector on. And you will push it in. Like so. And then give it a twist, and it locks in. Now, this is the tube. This sometimes gets pulled out through. So, you might need to pull it to get the right length. But on mine it's fine, so you want to just get this and push it in like this. It's quite hard to do again one handed, so I'm just going to put the camera down quickly. Right, so that's clipped in. You have to hold the George with the handle and clip it in. So yeah, once that's in, then you want to get this end of it. And if you are doing upholstery, or the car interior, or just a spot stain, you want to get this um, hand tool out. This then pushes onto here. Um, like so, and I don't know if you can see that, but that just pushes on right there, like that, that's just clipped on, and then that solution tube will clip right here, like this, like that. But if you want to do a carpet or a large area, then you'll take this off. Again, this is quite awkward to do one handed, so I do apologise, and you want to get your poles. The George poles are different to normal Henry ones, so you have to make sure. The difference is they've got this section there, and another section there. Now I've been using this George for dry, so it's got the dry floor tool on at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll take this off. Like, I'm just going to put the camera down again, but just pull and twist at the same time, and it will unclip. So right, so I'm taking that off like that. And you want to get your white fishtail, the larger fishtail tool. So this one here, and then you want to push this into the poles like so. You might have to loosen this screw off on the front, and then just push it in. So I'm going to just drop the camera down again now while I quickly push these two together. There we go. That is pushed through. I've taken it off there for the time being. But yeah, Then you want to get this part here with this trigger on and the shorter bit there 
and this will just slide up onto this with the trigger spray bit pointing downwards. No, I'm not. You can't do it how I've just done it. You want to connect this solution tube first before you put the fishtail on. You want to get this bit here and slide up onto this bit here. Right, so it's quite awkward to demonstrate again. But it's all in the instructions. I just thought this video might be a bit easier for those to understand. That will slide up onto there like that. And then you'll get the fishtail tool again. And you'll have it. So in this spray part, um, again, it is quite awkward to do one handed because I've got the camera in my other hand. I would normally have a tripod, but I can't remember where I put it. So that will then push into there and it will just need to be locked into place. As that will push into there to stop it from rotating when you're using it. Now you want to get your other straight pole. This one is slightly shorter than that one as it doesn't have the extension bit on for the spray bit. As you can see here, it's slightly shorter as that one goes all the way into there. That way I'm pushing to this top bit like this. And then you'll have the end of the pole there. Then you want to get this part. This part you'll need to have that way into the poles and not this way into the poles. You need to have the suction relief valve and this metal clip uh, closest to the straight wand. So you'll have it like this. Like that. So that straight bit is then directly in line with that bit. Then you want to get the end of this tube here. This part right here. Make sure it's not twisted. And then slide it on. This again is really awkward to do one handed. And it needs to be stretched. But I can try my best. There we go. And that is now connected like that. And your solution line is running. So it's all ready to go. Then you want to lay this down on the floor or however. Rest this down. Connect the cuff of the hose. So this is the black end with the taper on. Like so. And connect it up to there. This again is really awkward to do. But... I can try my best. I've mean, not got much room to be working with here either, so it's quite awkward for me. This end with the black ring, then we'll then clip onto this part here. Like so. And that now is the George set up for carpet extracting. I'm going to quickly pause the video, plug George in, and set it up and do a little demonstration of it washing the carpet for you. You'll then want to turn the pump on and then make sure it's spraying slightly pal. So by pressing the button. And you can see it's spraying water onto the carpet. So you want to preset the carpet like this. 